Here's a coordinate geometry problem. They give us a right triangle, x, y, z. They give us two vertices. We've got to decide which of these vertices, if any, would make x, y, z a right triangle. There's our right triangle. And we know that if the lengths of the sides are a and b, with c being the hypotenuse, then thanks to Pythagoras, we would know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So there's our graph. Let's go ahead and plot our graphs. This is the first point. This is the second point. And then the line between them is one side of the triangle. We need to figure out the distance of that line by using the distance formula for coordinates. And it's simply the distance between the x's squared plus the distance between the y's squared. So there's the formula. Let's go ahead and plug and chug our values. Do a little bit of math. Square root of 9, 3. So the distance between these two points is 3. Now we have to start checking out these other points. So let's go ahead and plug in the first one and figure out what the distance is between negative 1, comma 2 and negative 1, comma negative 2. There's the formula. There's the math, and there's the distance. So we're going to repeat it with this side over here, right? The distance between 2, comma 2 and negative 1, comma negative 2 by using the formula. Plugging in a chugging, there's some more math, and it looks like the distance between these two points is going to be 5. So we have the three lengths, 3, 4, and 5. So is this true? 3 squared plus 4 squared equal 25 squared. 5 squared, sorry. And that looks true to me. That's true. So the first one is correct. Let's move on to the second one. Repeat the process. We're going to figure out the distance between these two points and these two points using the formula. So here's the first one. There's the math. There's the distance. Here's the second one between these two points, right? We're just filling in the values. There's the math. There's the square root. There's the distance. So now we have these three sides, three, four, and five, and we already know that that is true. So the second option is true. Now let's plug in the last one. Right, we're going to figure the distance between these two points and the distance between these two points as fast as we can. So we're just plugging and chugging. I'm going to go ahead and square, find that distance, and that's 5. So between these two points is 5. And if this other one comes up 4, which it looks like it probably is... Yep, it is. So we know that this is also true, so therefore, they're all true, and that is the answer. Just a little sidebar here, uh, the numbers 3, 4, and 5 are what we call a Pythagorean triplet, and they're commonly used in these types of problems, but that's it, MGZ, oh.